Chocolate Boy Wonder Pete Rock. Yeah, this G by a low eye. Boom, here you go. It's the Garbavani Emerald Geechee Sway. You know what I'm saying? Coming to you live and direct on Goodfellas TV. Big shots out to Tommy Guns. Holding it down for all your latest and greatest. We 80 blocks from Tiffany's legendary PR. Garbavani once again. Sunny Chiba gleaming. This is how we do 80 blocks. Can't blow. Check. You are now eight one, blocks of Tiffany's. Feel the frequency. Uh-huh. You getting me? Mic check. Test them one, two. Test them one, two. This is not a test. Uh-huh. This is fire. Mic check. Baby. You are now eight blocks of Tiffany's. Blocks. Feel the frequency. What? What? You getting me? Mic check. Uh-huh. Test them one, two. Test them one, two. Uh-huh. This is not a test. Uh-huh. This is fire. Hi, it's Miss Michaelia. I'm here with Suede. Chiba of Camp Low and Pete Rock, the legendary Pete Rock, and we are here to discuss their new project coming out. And the title of the new project is what? 80 Blocks from Tiffany's? What does that mean? Uh, It's an old documentary about gang life in the Bronx. And um, two of the the, um, gangs that were in the movie were Savage Skulls and no man, was it the no, sa- savage no man's and the savage skulls and you know it's about bronx life basically you know it's right the time the same time when hip hop started and what kids were doing around that time and um this was came out like 80s 80 79 80 and um it, it was just an inspiration to us because we're from the bronx okay. so you know with that said it coincided with our lives and we decided to take the title and we make it the group. So what, um, so the title of the album is 80 Blocks, 80 Blocks from Tiffany's, mm-hmm. and that's also the name of the group? Mm-hmm. Okay, so the co- collaboration, all three of y'all together, mm-hmm. it's 80, 80 Blocks from Tiffany's. Yes. That's pretty cool. Yes. Yes. That's pretty cool. Yes. So what was the inspiration behind you guys getting together? Um, well, we got together, it was a DJ technician that saw P. Rock uh, leaving a session one day and told him, yo, Camp Low got a session going on in this building. I hear you should come through, shout him out. He came through, he was working on this song with Styles P called On Smash. He was like, yo, you should jump on the, on the kite. He jumped on it, bodied it in like 10 minutes. <laughs> and um, after that, he started playing music and right there we knew that, you know, we had to come together, you know, so. The creative process been? Oh, it's been great. I mean, you know, we're all from the Bronx, and I resided also in Mount Vernon, so I claim both places, but the Bronx first. Mm-hmm. And I think with that alone, and like you know, you could say we grew up together separately. Okay. You know I mean? Yeah, you have a lot <laughs> of shared experiences. Yeah. Yeah. So, do you have any creative differences? Any notable creative differences that might have slowed down the project or kind of hindered the project at times? No, it's all been smooth. That's pretty rare. I think the only thing that's been, that can be, is schedule differences. Right, that's you know, it. We on the road or somebody's touring, or mm-hmm. that's, that's, that's about it. So are there any other features on the album? Nope. No, so it's just you guys. Yep. <laughs> Focus right now, not to say that we won't pull other, you know, in later, but right now it's definitely about 80, 80 blocks. Yeah. So what can people expect from this album? What's the sound? Originality, dope lyrics, dope beats, just dope excerpts of, of cinematic ideas, audio movie type of sound. Is it is it more like old school hip hop with the beats or is it kind of more like the new new school hip hop which tends to be more of a dance type of track? Both. That, that right, well, Mixture of both. I, I mean, I'm always finicky about that line of old school and new school. You know what I mean? Especially when it comes to anything that we're doing, because everything we do is, is timeless. Up we don't involve <laughs> time, you know what I mean? Um, but it, it's for everybody. Yeah. I mean, speaking of which, I mean, hip hop is so different now than when you started, Pete, back in the day. What are you feeling about current hip hop, the trends in current hip hop? Does it speak to you as, as a veteran in the industry, or is it kind of like. Like when I hear cats rapping, and the talent that I hear, certain dudes that I like, that speaks to me. But musically, I feel there's a lack of originality in the, in the, mm-hmm. in the beats. I think there's a lot of people, 
artists that follow other artists that don't think for themselves and do what the next person is doing, which kind of hinders the game and changes it in a way where it, it can affect you in a, in, a, in a bad way. If you're an original person that's used to making things that people never heard in their life, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's how I grew up, you know what I'm saying? Not only with music, but with everything, you know what I mean? Right. And um, I just applied it to the music. And I think it's important that we put that in our music more today in the songs that you hear. Maybe change some lyrical content and not play certain records at 3 o'clock in the afternoon when right. our kids get out of school. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So are you featured on any of the tracks or are you just doing the production side? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm featured on... on uh, okay. Yeah. No, but so. you know, every, you know, <laughs> Everything. Oh yeah. Yeah, but he yeah. decided he's gonna yeah. jump on some of the tracks. That's cool. Yeah, so yep, mic okay. check joint. First producers, I wanna say the first mm. that you knew to rhyme and mm. was dope and was ill. Mm. And you looked forward to hear him spit. Mm -hmm. Now a lot of producers have made careers, you know, rhyming as well. Yep. But he like broke the seal on that. So we have a I plug that in. Nah. So, so, it's gonna be, so basically, you're just letting us know it's going to be dope. Basically. basically. <laughs> when is it coming out? Well, the um, part two, the, the, the volume one, 80 Blocks from Tiffany's mixtape, is out currently right now. The mic check video. Is you get it. Right now. Um, any, all of the blogs, but you can definitely go to campolo.net and download yeah. it there. Yeah. And uh, we're working on part two right now. And I'm sure y'all will know. All about that, but that's we're yeah. looking at uh, the end of next month for that volume two. Okay, so the album is going to be on a label, it's independently released. Yeah, independent, but we don't know. We're just being finicky with who we want to to do. To yeah. distribute it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so what what can we say? I mean, part two of the mixtape. Okay, we got that. So when is the it's album, crazy. When is the album coming? Um, probably shortly after this volume two. Okay, you know, so this summer perhaps. Yeah, we can, it, dep okay. it depends on, you know, the work that we're doing with, with both uh, and when we'll finish, you know. All right, so any tour dates or anything that we can let uh, people know about? Not yet, not mapped out yet, but it's going to be probably something memorable and fun. All right, so basically, look, look, <laughs> listen out, look out for you guys this summer. Yeah. 80 blocks from Tiffany. Yes. All right. This has been Miss Michaelia with Goodfellas TV. Thanks for watching.